Farm Life has been throwing us some lemons lately. Last night we had a freezer making a really loud sound and I opened it up and it looked like things were starting to defrost. So I very quickly had to move all of the meat out of that. Thank God we have two other freezers and a refrigerator I can turn into a freezer if I need it. But I, and I had space to put it all in there and we unplugged it because it was making a really loud noise. Now I did call an appliance place and the guy walked me through going ahead and plugging it back in and he said it could be one of two issues and if it doesn't start to freeze today, he said it's the compressor and it's gonna be cheaper to just replace it. You can see the mess from last night. It's not making the sound it was. I put some water in here probably about 20 minutes ago to see if it'll start freezing back up in here. So I'm, I'm just gonna have to watch it today. It could have been that we didn't shut the door all the way and it never got to like defrost properly because this freezer that we have, I mean, we got it in we got it in 2014 and it's one of those that if the electricity went out, it would hold a freeze for three days. And if the door had been open like that, it probably would have defrosted like that. And it was having a really hard time keeping up. And so the engine was making a really loud noise. So we'll see, I'm gonna come back and check on this towards the end of the day. Another issue I'm having is with our frost freeze hydrant. Now, I started to notice two days ago that water at the base of it, when I turn it off, that water would kind of rise up. And so I'm worried about that because here we are in September. It is the primary water source I use to run my hose through the field to make sure that the animals have fresh water. So I, I'm gonna be paranoid about that. Uh, Sid doesn't seem to think that it's a really big problem. I called a plumber, they're coming out tomorrow because if it is an issue, I, I want it fixed. Now these guys are usually drinking water at the base of it. So Sid was thinking that maybe it's just from them and dumping the water in there. But this is what I noticed today when I turned this on, let me try to capture this. When I turned it on, now that's some dripping from that. So there's a little dripping from that. But when I turn it off, do you see how I turned it off and it starts filling up? That's not normal. It should, I don't think it should be doing that. That's false advertisement. It's not a sanitizer, by the way. These guys are becoming my shadows. <laughs> we have been behind getting our American Breast flock extension out on the grass. I just decided this weekend to just put the fence up. And even though we have not made the repairs that we needed to do on the flooring to make it easier to clean out, I just decided to grab the chick shawl and use it. I needed it because right now, with the extra geese that we're having to separate, that hutch was holding up getting these guys out on the grass. And I'm gonna be receiving an automated door because I don't have an automated door on this. I actually took it off of that for us to put it on for our free range geese in the morning uh, to be able to come out of their hutch. And since this one was in repair, I was like, oh, let me just take the door off of that. Well, I need it now. And so that's supposed to arrive sometime today. This is day three of them on this grass inside of the hutch because I wanted them to get used to it before it opens. So I'm hoping to time it so that tomorrow morning it'll open and they'll be out and we have it totally electrified. We have it ready. They understand where their water and their food is. So it'll be time for that. We are also running way, 
way, way, way behind on getting our high tunnel finished. I spent my time this morning cutting grass inside of it with the push mower because our big mower can't fit in there. And um, now that I have that done, I see that it needs to be edged along the sides. However, the string on the weed whipper, weed eater, is that what we call it these days? I don't know, the edger, uh, the string on it has run out uh, I'm gonna try to find some I'm gonna try to figure out how to string it and I'm gonna try to get that cut one of the reasons I'm hustling to get that done is that bootstrap farmer they have a relationship with somebody to do like a, sus uh, a suspension for us to hang up vegetables and stuff and they're gonna come out tomorrow and Wednesday to do an installation which is totally like they're just using us as kind of like a test on it which is an absolute gift so i want to be ready for that gift so everything else is falling to the wayside for us to get a lot of stuff and prioritize and just really try to prepare for this upcoming season another issue that we have is we haven't started our seeds we have some dirt ready uh to start them but we've had so much going on with our birds, backed up stuff with the high tunnel, little issues here and there. It's like lemons just raining down on us. Our air conditioning even went out. Um, I have window units keeping us cool, which is great for the cold front that came through. So it's less of an issue. However, um, the people that are fixing it are trying to get parts for it and we're trying to get that squared away. I can only imagine what somebody would go through if they didn't have a window unit. Um, we were lucky enough that we only had to put up with it one night when it was relatively warm and I went to Home Depot the next day. I bought a window unit for our room and another window unit for our living room. And it is keeping it relatively cool, but I am concerned. I wanna get it fixed before winter comes because I don't have a way to control heat or things like that. Like I could get space heaters, but that's not, that's not really safe. Now that I did get our American Breast crew out there, I was able to get our Cornish Cross chicks out of the house into the brooder box next to our Easter Eggers. So an upcoming thing we're gonna have to hustle for is getting those geese out of that tractor, getting that Top Gun crew like all situated and together because I need that extra hutch for the Cornish cross getting them out on the grass and we have to figure out exactly what we're going to use for the Easter eggers because we're not merging them with the egg laying flock for four months so that's an upcoming thing that we're going to have to figure out all this stuff we need to fill we've got compost here this is mixed for it so I need to start filling those trays and mix some of this compost with some peat moss <sighs> we got a lot to do this is just a status check I came out here I wanted you guys to see this because this little dial here is at two right and that's the off so and it goes in this so that's off and it was right here I'm gonna turn it up to five. I'm wondering if all the stuff in here like caused that to shut a little bit and then having our door par partially like open, like not all the way closed caused an issue. So I'm gonna check on this in a little bit and see if that All occurs. right, it's about three o'clock. Oh, that's starting to freeze. That's not. There's still some. Oh, that stuff's getting icy. We'll 
see. What did you say that that thing at the base is called that it's does? It's called a weep hole. A weep hole. A weep hole. And it's meant to do it's that? It's meant to do that. It's okay. Meant. okay. It's technically, it's supposed to be about a foot, foot and a half in the ground. Uh-huh. Uh, that's just for the freezing purpose of it coming out. Yeah. But if you throw the rock and then throw your dirt back on it, it should be fine. There's not even a frost line in Texas. Okay. Uh, which means freeze, freezing temperatures in Texas. And your recommendation to me is to get some pea gravel. Yes, put some, put a, like basically dig around the hole. Uh huh. Give yourself some room so instead of it coming out of the ground. Yeah. It'll just stay inside that rock. Okay. Underground. So okay. It's just, and so it's not doing that. And I'm probably only noticing it from the... The ducks digging, or your geese digging up. Yeah. yeah, okay, okay, thank you. I'm having to make up some more dirt so that we can fill some more trays. And Top Gun Crew is over here doing what is causing the water problem. I want you to see. This is their water cooler. This is like literally where they like to go and drink some water and chill. And they're basically right now, because it's about five o'clock, they're starting to haggle me since I'm out here. They want their snacks. Yeah, look at that. Stand down there and drinking that water. I know, you guys want snacks. Y'all ready? Come on. Come on, babies. Y'all ready? Here they come. That's why they were over there. They want their snacks. This is when they get locked up, too. If I hadn't been out on the porch, they would have been inside of there waiting for me to come out and check eggs or whatever. Too. I see y'all. Got enough of y'all yelling at me. Oh, y'all are showing off. You're trying to act like you're gonna fly. Oh, you show me your new tricks. Okay. All right, come on. They harass me. Come on, babies. This is what you wanted. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh. Oh, my goodness. They come in and run them all off. Come on, babies. This is every evening. They come up and beg. Okay. Okay, that's good. Ranch and Rose get picked on, so they know I'm throwing snacks in for them. She realized, she's like, oh, she didn't forget me. Come on, guys. Here you go, babies. Come on, babies. Yeah. Y'all are next. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
was just counting. I'm missing a goose. There's a goose over there. Come on, baby. Did you fall asleep? Are you okay? Is your foot hurt? Oh. Let's look at it. Holding his foot up. Oh, let me look. Oh, he's limping. He decided to swim across. Come on, baby. Doesn't like being away from its crew. Come on. Are you coming? Come on, baby. Oh. Come on, baby. You really limped over here, huh? Poor baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Oh, no, that's not going to work. I'm sorry, baby. No, 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 it's not going to work. It's 6 p.m. And, well, this is frozen. That's frozen solid. All those drips are frozen. That might have been the issue. Ugh. We really need this. We are about to have some chickens go to freezer camp next month. So we need this. Awesome. They just came out for their first time. His foot's all better this morning. Huh. You're doing just fine. We got our air conditioning replaced a week later and we got our fall garden started. Just when we thought all those lemons were going to hit us, it looks like things are looking up. Let's take it from there because I know you want it. Afraid to let it show. And I know you need it. Why don't we let